What do I love about Laguna Niguel? How much time do you have? I can tell you what I truly love about Laguna Niguel is this incredible sense of community pride. Also, there's a strong culture of civic engagement and volunteerism. In Laguna Niguel, there's such a tremendous opportunity to not only live here, raise a family, but start a business. I got to do that. I would also say because of our strong, thriving economy, there are so many opportunities and it allows us to have an incredible, exceptional way of life. Without question, the state of the city is strong. The city of Laguna Niguel enjoys a reputation of being one of South Orange County's premier cities, a master plan community incorporated in 1989. Laguna Niguel has entered the next quarter century by continuing on its time-honored path of promoting balanced growth, all within a culture of solid, conservative, organizational values. Once considered a small bedroom community in South Orange County, Laguna Niguel has grown into a thriving, business-friendly, and family-oriented community immersed in natural beauty. Residents enjoy an exceptional quality of life. The city's close proximity to the Pacific Ocean, coupled with our warm Mediterranean climate, provides for a year-round enjoyment of our beautiful parks, trails, sports facilities, and nearby beaches. As mayor, one of my goals this year is to ensure that the residents and the business community stay informed. It is so important they know what's going on in their city. But it's even more important that we hear their thoughts and their ideas. We don't have all the answers, but I know with the right questions, we'll be able to make informed decisions as we continue to shape the future of this city. Earlier this year, I launched a series of casual informal meetings designed to give residents and business leaders the opportunity to engage in open dialogue on city matters, as well as share their thoughts and ideas for the future of Laguna Niguel. The conversations covered a wide range of topics, including exciting projects such as the Gateway, Agora, Crown Valley Park, and the city's effort to address concerns about sober living facilities. As president of the Orange County Division of the League of California Cities, I met with top state officials to discuss issues surrounding sober living facilities. In April, the City Council went on record supporting legislation introduced by Senator Pat Bates and Assemblyman Bill Bro, aimed at imposing meaningful state regulations on the operations of these facilities in residential neighborhoods. To keep residents informed, the City frequently looks for new opportunities to connect citizens with their city. The City's website and mobile app offers residents instant access to information 24-7, Facebook, Twitter, the city's e-newsletter, and a host of publications enhance the city's ability to engage residents and share information. Later this year, the city will undertake a complete redesign of its website to ensure it stays compatible with the latest technology and remains user-friendly. One of the things I like to do when I'm out and about in the community is ask the residents, what do you love about Laguna Niguel? I'd say that number one answer is that small town feel. To me, the perfect example is our annual holiday parade. You live in Laguna Niguel, you're either in the parade or you're watching the parade. It's also the open spaces, our great sports facilities, our parks, not to mention our brand new splash pad. With great amenities, it's really important that the city strikes a good balance between the wants and needs of the residents and the business community. Laguna Niguel does a great job balancing out both. Known for being one of the most business-friendly cities in South Orange County, Laguna Niguel continues to attract new business and investment in the community. Last year, the city welcomed several new businesses, including Nordstrom Rock, Susie Cakes, Skier's Fresh Mediterranean, J.P. Morgan Chase, C's Candy, Chico's, Smart and Final, Oh My Sushi, Philomena's Cafe and Wine Bar, and many more. Don't have time to run into Starbucks to grab your morning coffee? No worries, we've got that covered too with our new drive through Starbucks. As a business owner, I know how difficult it can be to get your business up and running, as well as make it a success. At the city, we're here to ease that burden. By streamlining the administrative process, we're able to attract new businesses, as well as enable existing businesses to grow and expand. The Laguna Niguel Chamber of Commerce plays a vital role in creating a strong relationship between the business community and the city. The city enjoys an excellent working relationship with the Chamber and proudly supports its efforts to support and promote our local business community. Last October, the city partnered with the Chamber 
to host the first annual October Food Fest, a month-long program that provided local, full-service restaurants the opportunity to promote their business and showcase unique, delectable cuisine. The program was a great success, and plans are already underway for this year's event. Revitalization efforts in the Gateway District are starting to come to fruition with the opening of Apex Lagoon Niguel and Sky Manor Living luxury apartment communities. Construction is underway on Gateway Village, the first true mixed-use project featuring ground-level retail space where people can shop and dine. The Percern Group's residential complex will include the development of a small public park for residents in the community to enjoy. In keeping with the city's vision to transition this area into a transit-oriented, pedestrian-friendly urban village, the city recently celebrated the opening of Oso Creek Trail. The approximate three-quarter mile trail runs alongside Oso Creek and offers pedestrian and bikeway access from the new residential complexes in the Gateway District to the Laguna Niguel Metrolink Station. The transformation that has taken place along this creek channel is incredible, but getting to this point wasn't easy. There were many challenges that had to be addressed and we had to collaborate and cooperate with multiple agencies. At the end, we have a beautiful project that residents can enjoy, and the project won the Outstanding Bikeways and Trails Project of the Year by Orange County's American Society of Civil Engineers. Funding for the $3.5 million trail improvements was made possible through grants from the State Water Resources Control Board, the Orange County Transportation Authority, and the City's General Fund. These are exciting times for Laguna Niguel. As we plan for our future, we're looking for opportunities that will embrace our history and our culture, as well as breathe new life into our community. Whether that is developing a downtown area and finding new opportunities to grow our economy, or renovating some of the older parks in town, we are strategically evaluating all the options so we can enhance the quality of life for future generations. It's rare to find in South Orange County a single piece of property, 22 acres in size, all owned by the same entity. This can be Agora. The Agora Arts District, downtown Laguna Niguel, is expected to bring a new revival to the community and has generated a lot of excitement amongst residents. Featuring landscape plazas, pedestrian walkways, community gardens, outdoor performance areas, and a residential village, Agora will serve as a premier destination for both Laguna Niguel residents and the region. Preparation of an environmental impact report that will study potential impacts such as noise, traffic, and parking associated with the project is currently underway and is expected to be available for public review later this summer. The Agora Arts District is expected to generate an exciting new cultural experience for the Laguna Niguel community. As stewards of taxpayer dollars, the City Council carefully strategizes on where to invest funds, focusing on projects and programs that support the community's vision for the future while continuing to focus on efficiency. One such project is the renovation of Crown Valley Park. Last year, the City celebrated the completion of the first of a three-tier major renovation project at the park. The $4.6 million project included the complete renovation of the amphitheater and the construction of two new playgrounds, a new restroom and a state-of-the-art spray ground. That was such a great day. Everybody had an awesome time, especially the kids. I work with Mayor Lori Davies and former Mayor Linda Lindholm on the Ad Hoc Review Committee for this phase of the project. We went over every detail, every piece of equipment, just to get it exactly right. We're very proud of what we have, but that's not all. Phase two will be starting later this summer. There's more to come. Work is already underway in preparation for the tier two entrance improvements at Crown Valley Park. This next phase will include the construction of a new entry bridge that will ensure the park entrance remains open during heavy rainstorms. To enhance safety, the bridge will include lighting and pedestrian walkways on both sides of the road, as well as dedicated bike lanes. Two new parking lots will be constructed along with new entry monuments highlighting park events and activities. A new decorative metal archway will welcome visitors to the park. Also included in the project is a conversion of the irrigation system at the Nagel Botanical Preserve from potable to recycled water. Construction is expected to cost approximately $8.25 million 
and is being funded in part by $2.6 million in grants from the Orange County Transportation Authority, Moulton Niguel Water District, and the Integrated Regional Water Management. We are scheduled to break ground in early July with an expected completion date of June 2017. The Niguel Botanical Preserve is one of my favorite spots in the city. I come here as often as I can. I've seen it grow from a small community garden to the beautiful 18-acre preserve that it is now. We're now in the process of switching over from potable to recycled water, which will save over 628,000 gallons of potable water per year. This is in response to the historic drought we have in California at this time. For those who like to walk, bicycle, jog, or hike along the popular Salt Creek Trail, several new enhancements were made to facilitate a more enjoyable outdoor experience. A new biking and hiking trail constructed along the northern boundary of Chaparosa Park now provides a new link to the existing paved bike trail. New interpretive signs designed to educate the public about the trail's natural ecosystem and history, along with new fencing, wayfinding signs, and benches, serve to enhance the natural beauty of this urban wilderness trail. City workers continue to repair and improve roads and streets around the city to facilitate the smooth flow of vehicular and pedestrian traffic. Ten, nine, eight. To assist visually impaired residents in crossing the street, the city recently installed new audible accessible pedestrian signals at three key intersections within the city. Public safety continues to be a top priority for the city council. The men and women serving with the Orange County Sheriff's Department and Orange County Fire Authority do an excellent job of protecting the public safety. Since 2012, the city's overall crime rate fell by 9%. Last year, when cities statewide experienced a significant increase in crime rates, Laguna Niguel continued to be in the top 2% of safest cities in California. An informed and an alert public is key to keeping Laguna Niguel safe. Laguna Niguel Police Services works hard with the public delivering Neighborhood Watch, Business Watch, Adopt-a-School, National Night Out, and many other programs. By developing these relationships and teaching these programs, we hope to help the community be tougher targets against crime. In April, I had the pleasure of working with Mayor Davies to launch a Neighborhood Watch membership drive to encourage more residents to join or start a Neighborhood Watch program in their neighborhood. Neighborhood Watch is one of the oldest and most effective crime prevention programs in the country that brings citizens and law enforcement together to deter crime and make communities safer. Last year, police services actively promoted the If You See Something, Say Something campaign designed to encourage residents to become more proactive in reporting suspicious activity to law enforcement. The campaign resulted in an increased number of calls to the Sheriff's Department. Despite this, response times for Priority 1 calls decreased by 8%. When it comes to fire prevention and protection, the men and women of the Orange County Fire Authority do an outstanding job responding to fire and medical emergency calls but responding to emergencies is just part of their duties. Often, you will also find them visiting local schools, homeowner associations, businesses, and other organizations educating the public on fire safety and prevention. One of our most precious resources we have in the city is our young adults. Drug abuse has become a major concern in our society, and prescription drug abuse is on the rise, especially among our high school athletes. Frequently, these young boys and girls start taking prescription pain medication to provide pain relief from a sports injury. All too often, they become dependent on these pills. Before long, the dependency turns into an addiction that could cost them their lives. In September, I will be hosting a teen sports prescription drug awareness program at Keppel Valley High School to shed light on this growing problem that threatens the very core of our community. Along with retired Dodgers first baseman Steve Garvey, Dr. Evan Miller, and college athlete Chase Brentley, we will talk about the challenges faced by young school athletes in the sports world, including injuries, addiction, success, and preventative measures. When we talk about protecting our city, we must not forget the brave men and women who protect our nation. Laguna Niguel takes great pride in supporting the 1st Battalion, 
4th Marines from the USS Stockdale. Through the dedicated efforts of the Laguna Niguel Military Support Committee and Military Support Foundation, the City of Laguna Niguel provides much needed support to our troops and their families. These volunteers work tirelessly collecting care package items, organizing baby showers, family outings, fundraisers, and holiday parties. Whenever there is a need, the committee stands ready. In September, the committee will host its fourth annual Fairways to Freedom Golf Tournament at the beautiful Arroyo Tribuco Golf Club. All proceeds will benefit our adopted troops. For more information or to register for the tournament, visit fairwaystofreedom.org. There are endless ways for residents to have fun in Laguna Niguel. The city is home to 34 parks, over 80 miles of hiking, biking, and equestrian trails, and state-of-the-art sports fields and facilities. Crown Valley Park serves as the center of the city's recreational activities and is home to Crown Valley Pool, Niguel Botanical Preserve, a variety of sports fields, and the Laguna Niguel YMCA. Youth and teen programs, recreation classes, and special events are offered year-round by the city's parks and recreation department. The newly renovated amphitheater at Crown Valley Park hosts the city's annual summer concert series and a variety of community performances. From Memorial Day through Labor Day, children of all ages can have never-ending fun at the new spray ground. Laguna Niguel Skateboard Park accommodates skaters and BMX riders of all skill levels and attracts skateboard enthusiasts from throughout South County. Sea Country Senior and Community Center offers countless opportunities for our senior adults to participate in educational classes, games, activities, and special events. Plans are underway to establish a teen center to further expand the partnership of our youth and seniors. One of the things that we noticed when looking at how to get our youth more involved with the community was the lack of information available to middle school students about their city. The Laguna Niguel Junior Civic Workshop educates our middle school students on the purpose of city government, its interaction with other levels of government, and what they can do to be responsible citizens. The seven workshops focus on topics such as the city's history, the role of the city council, the court system, emergency preparedness, parks and recreation, and water conservation. To ensure Laguna Niguel continues to prosper for future generations, it is critical that the city remains financially sound. I am pleased to report the city continues to have a balanced budget and no debt. Most of the city's revenue comes from sales and property tax that continue to grow. While we continue to invest in our streets, parks, medians, and other capital assets, we keep our spending in check. Our investment portfolio remains secure. As of June 30th, 2015, the city had more than $73 million in reserves. Approximately $21 million is set aside for unexpected events and $31 million is allocated for capital assets and infrastructure improvement. What makes Laguna Niguel so blessed? It's the leadership, especially over the past 27 years. I personally would like to thank my colleagues, Mayor Pro Tem, Jerry Slusowitz, Council Members, Jerry McCluskey, Elaine Genoway and Fred Miniker. Thank you so much for all your support this year. What makes our city great? It's a quality of life. What makes our community great? It's the people. They're our neighbors, our friends, our heroes. You see them everywhere volunteering. They're at the Botanical Garden. They're in the sports fields, coaching. They're helping our Boy Scouts, our Girl Scouts. They're the PTA moms. They're in different commissions and committees. It's all of this that makes Laguna Niguel the best city in the state.